Welcome back, guys. Uh, today I thought I'd uh, take a look at the new Ubuntu 16.04. Now, um, I'm normally not a big Ubuntu Unity uh, type uh, fan, but uh, I thought I'd take a look at it because if you look at the timeline for um, the 16.04, the release schedule states that as of April 14th, the um, all of the uh, downloads are considered to be a release candidate, no longer in beta. Now, if you take a look at the note here on the release candidate, during the week leading up to the final release, all images produced are all considered release candidates. So what I did was I, I downloaded the uh, latest uh, daily build which was um, available uh, let's see that was the April 16 so I'm running this Xenial desktop AMD 64 I downloaded that and installed it to my hard drive and th that's what you're looking at here now this is one of the stock wallpapers I have um, reconfigured it I put the uh, the uh, application launcher at the bottom, which I'm not a big fan of the Unity, the sidebar, um, but I do like the this uh, particular distribution with the uh, launcher bar at the bottom. I have enabled icons on the desktop. I'm using uh, the Nimbus uh, icon theme. I loaded all of my normal uh, system tray uh, applications just to test them out. I have Redshift, P-Sensor, there's Kazam running, uh, Clip It, uh, Caffeine, uh, my uh, Broadcom, Wi-Fi configured no problem at all. I also installed uh, my NVIDIA drivers no problem at all. Let me see if I can. Uh, let's see. NVIDIA is 361.42, which is excellent. And so, uh, graphics wise, no issues at all. Uh, Bluetooth is enabled. I like the. Um, the fact that when you click on the volume icon you have some control over your microphone your video player and then you can also open up your uh, your uh, uh, configuration for your sound so you can you can uh, set your output your input sound effects really really nice now I think this particular version of Ubuntu uh, is very very nicely done uh, I'm going to go ahead and update, and I'm, I'm hoping that when the final version comes out at the end of next week, that it'll be an easy update uh, rather than doing a, a reinstall, but uh, I'll wait for a word on that from Ubuntu. Uh, but everything is working fine. I've got Hearthstone running, War Thunder runs fine, I've got Steam installed, Kodi. Uh, I've got the uh, Unity Tweak Tool uh, to help with the configuration. Uh, I've got the normal settings uh, menu that you get when you install. I had to go ahead and install the Unity Tweak Tool uh, after. I've got the menu uh, bar on the window itself versus at the top in the panel. Uh, so I've got it configured pretty much the way I want it. Now, there are a couple of issues. One is the War Thunder launcher, I cannot get a, an icon to show in the launcher bar. And for some reason, GUVC View, as you can see, when I open it, the correct icon shows, but the icon that remains in the launcher uh, is not correct. If I open up applications and if I search for GUVC view, you can see that the icon is not correct. Um, so there are not many uh, bugs like that, but there are a few, and I'm sure they'll get those resolved by the time the final release candidate comes out. 
So uh, for uh, for file management, it is files, which is, I believe, Nautilus, and uh, works fine, no issues at all. This Nimbus uh, icon theme is very, very nice. Uh, configuration was super easy. Uh, I'm I'm very impressed. I don't, as I said, I don't normally run the Unity uh, version of um, Ubuntu, but uh, in this case, I do like the changes that they've made, uh, so much so that I did install it on my Chromebook, and I'm also running it on my Chromebook uh, at the present time. So that is it, guys. This is my first look at the Ubuntu 16.04 um, Unity desktop. Uh, this is the release candidate, and it's leading up to the final release, which will be, I believe, this coming Thursday, if I'm not mistaken. So, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for stopping by. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Take care.